Hey, Thomas here. In today's video, we're going to be setting up this Radeon XR30 Gen 5 Blue. But if you have a Pro or an XR15, it's going to be a very similar setup, so stick around. We're going to do everything from unboxing to getting it onto a mount and set up on the tank, all the way to dialing things in and setting up an actual schedule. So by the end of this video, you should have yours providing lovely light to your corals on your tank. So let's get into it. In the box, you'll find the Radeon XR15 or 30 LED light fixture, a set of eyelet mounts, the power supply, and a quick start guide, both for the Radeon as well as Mobius. To get the light running on your tank, you're going to need a couple other items as well, like an RMS mounting arm or the Radeon hanging kit, as well as a Phillips screwdriver to get that assembled. To get the ball rolling, you're going to want to attach your mounting option of choice to the Radeon light fixture. And like I mentioned, there are a bunch of options out there from hanging kits to this very popular RMS tank mount, which is actually what I'm going to be using in this video. First, assemble your mounting option according to the included instructions, and then attach the Radeon to the mount using the included screws and a Phillips screwdriver. After the light is attached to the mount, you can attach the mount to the tank or suspend it if using a hanging kit. The RMS mount that I have here holds the light right at that eight inch mark, which is perfect for these Gen 5 Radeon lights. If you are suspending your fixture with a hanging kit, adjust it so the fixture is right around eight inches off of the surface of the water. With the light mounted to the tank and over top of it, it's time to plug it in. When the light first turns on, it's going to be quite bright, so don't stare at the bottom of it. Once it's powered on, you can download the Mobius app onto your preferred smart device. I'll be using my smartphone. Once installed, you can create an account and log in, and then follow the steps to create and name your aquarium profile. Then it'll automatically search for any unregistered Ecotech devices in the vicinity. Your Radeon Gen 5 light should quickly pop up and then you can click on it. You'll see a little check mark on the corner of the device and then you can click next. The app will make sure your fixture is up to date with the latest firmware and then prompt you to make a passcode for your tank. You can choose to skip the passcode entirely or even just for now and then add it later. On the next screen, you'll see a colored wheel along with a sunrise and sunset time. You can either click on the times to adjust them or drag the sun and moon on the wheel to set what time you'd like your light schedule to start and end, and then click set in the center of the wheel once you're happy. I will say they do default to a nine hour schedule, which is a safe bet for most tanks if you're unsure of how long you'd like your light cycle to be. After that, you'll be prompted to select a starting template to set the spectrum of the light. You can choose from Coral Lab AB+, Phoenix 14, LPS and Soft, or Radiant Color. Given that these Radeon Gen 5 Blues are tailor-made to run the AB Plus schedule with all diodes at 100% relative intensity, that is likely what most reefers with these blue fixtures are going to use. After selecting AB Plus, you'll see the AB Plus description page with a short paragraph that describes the template. And you'll also get the opportunity to adjust your start and end times again with a similar wheel if you'd like to. If you're happy with the template, you can then click activate and your light will be programmed and ready to go. The app will then take you to the lighting tab where you'll have the option to enable lunar mode as well as acclimation mode, edit the current template or change templates. The light will automatically be set to 50% of its maximum intensity. To change it, click on edit in the center of the wheel. Then at the bottom, click schedule 50 and you can then change the maximum intensity of the schedule which will automatically reduce or increase the intensity of each point on the schedule relative to one another so that the brightest point of the day matches your selected intensity. The absolute best way to make sure that you've set your light to the perfect intensity that will provide the exact sweet spot par range that matches your reefing goals and the corals you intend to keep for your tank is to use a par meter. Just as an example, on a 24 inch cube tank, an XR15 will provide an excellent coverage of par within the 75 to 150 range for LPS and soft corals when set to 60%. While an XR30 will need to be turned down to just 20% to achieve similar numbers. So in other words, which light you have, what corals you wanna keep, your tank depth and dimensions, and other factors specific to your tank will all come into play when choosing that intensity setting. For those advanced reefers that wanna build out a custom schedule, you can click on the points themselves 
themselves to tweak the individual point spectrums and intensities, as well as add and delete points across the schedule as you desire. You can navigate the points using the fast forward and back buttons on the bottom, add points with the blue plus button, or delete them with the trash can. You can also save swatches of your favorite settings for later use. Across the top, you can switch between your daytime schedule, moonlight settings, storm and cloud cover settings, and your saved swatches. Once you're all finished tinkering and your schedule is perfect, click the save button. And that's it, your light is all set up and ready to go. With that said though, like I was mentioning earlier, I strongly recommend finding a PAR meter that you can use to just double check that your light is set to the perfect intensity for the corals that you wanna keep in your tank so that lighting is never the thing that is stopping you from being a successful reef keeper. Whether you borrow one from a friend, a local club, or even pick up an inexpensive one like a Senai, you just can't get enough of PAR meters. They are such an excellent tool. I'm so glad that I have one. And and if you're not familiar with them or you've got one and you just don't know how to use it very well, we've got a solution for you because there's a five minute guide right there where Ryan goes over everything you're gonna need to know regarding PAR meters. Definitely check it out, use it the right way, get that data that you need so that the corals get what they need and everybody's happy and your corals are growing out of the tank. Hopefully you frag them before they're actually out of the tank. But anyways, watch the video.